um i would like to i would like to like share my experience um i had when i came to germany okay so um i came through school as i've been saying i came to do my masters and um actually when i came okay in my class there were um like five africans okay okay so we were like eight africans but the three were from egypt two were from egypt one from morocco okay and then uh five from west africa so three Ghanaians. i was i was part of the three Ghanaians. one from cameroon and one from nigeria okay so let me take the moroccans and then egyptians out and let me speak for the west african students okay so we were five west african students now one will ask me why am i saying that i'm saying this because please i i think that in our home country in our home countries back in ghana i'll always speak for ghana because that is where i come from i feel i feel that the educational system is is kind of we lack a lot of things okay we lack a lot of things and this is very serious okay so in my previous uh, during my bachelor in my school okay in my tertiary in my university i did gis i did gis okay so actually when you are applying a school to come to germany they look at the courses that you have done or the work experience that you have had and then based on that then they can give you admission so once you are coming to school whatever course that you do in your department they assume that you have prior knowledge to whatever they are they are doing okay so let me give you an uh, an, an example especially with the gis so i did gis in in back university in my home country my brother my sister come on clipping so the gis we did we did it in the sun because i remember that they they just fetch water i don't know what water has got to do with gis because we we took a a, a huh, they, we fetched some water and then they took a what a, a measuring instrument to go and measure i don't know i i kind of don't up till now when i think of it i don't understand common clipping those of you who know gis you know what i'm talking about common clipping so i was like ah so when i came to germany i was like ah so what what exactly are we doing in our home countries i didn't know how to clip common clipping i didn't know how to clip common polygon to to extract a polygon from a big polygon if you have done gis you know what i'm talking about i didn't know how to extract a polygon from for, so let me give you an example for instance if we have germany so if i want to take the city of cologne out of germany on gis i didn't know how to do it this is very serious and this is not only in my field i think that in other fields most of you are, are experiencing that okay it's very serious now the five of us the five of us the three Ghanaians, one nigerian one cameroon we were really struggling we really struggled eh we really 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 struggled really struggled i am this is not it's not a joke we were struggling to catch up because we didn't know we had done all those things back in school but we did we actually didn't know we didn't sit behind the computer to click we didn't sit behind the computer to click okay so we were really struggling especially i remember some of my courses gis statistics we were learning python we were learning all these um um tools for programming i didn't understand anything okay and the professor in front of you assumes that once you are being admitted you have prior knowledge because if you don't have prior knowledge there's no way they will admit you into the course so once you are being admitted you have prior knowledge to whatever is going on 
Okay, you have prior knowledge to all the courses. So it is, as, it is not now that we are coming to start from the scratch. You are not in SSS or you are not doing your bachelor. Okay, it's master's. And for master's, they assume that you have had prior knowledge in what you, 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 you are, we are doing now. Okay, so you have to catch up. So we really struggled, the five of us, we really struggled. We were all, always like down. We were always down. And nobody has the time to... <laughs> I remember eh, we were like... Then we were associating ourselves with uh, some of the Germans and some of the Americans and all that. We were like having discussions with them. And then it's, it, it, it was a shame because they didn't understand why we, we don't have any knowledge in what we are doing. Okay, because everybody, these uh, Moroccans and the Egyptians I'm talking about, as for them, of course, they know they know the thing. Okay, they know it. Some of them had worked in areas of GIS. Some of them had used um, uh, Python, Java. So they knew what they were doing. Okay, and of course, a lot of um, Indians. Okay, so the Indians were into it. So we were associating ourselves with all these people to actually know what um it is so something you use um like someone will use like one hour to do it it was a problem for us we had to use several days to understand we couldn't even writing a paper an article was a problem as of now if i take my bachelor degree okay my bachelor what do you call it thesis I have it now here. If I take it and I go through, I know I just sit down and I said, wow, what nonsense I wrote. What nonsense I wrote. When I take it and then I read it, I read through, I was like, wow. I can even source, those of you who are, like know how to write articles, I can even source something. Google 2020. Sorry, Google 2002. Like seriously, Google. <laughs> google 2002 it, it it doesn't make sense at all but as of then i didn't know what i was doing it is now that i have really learned and i am like i've i've seen that okay so whatever i was doing back then was rubbish you see it was rubbish it's just that we have attained a kind of a certain kind of level okay that we can be admitted other than that i don't know if you have schooled in ghana or nigeria i don't know for your field but my field in particular was a mess okay it was a mess so i had to really sit down i really struggled i really struggled i had to really sit down and then read articles go over things do certain things on my own it is it, is a battle eh? Do certain things on my own before I could understand that, okay, this is how we write an article. This is how we cite an article. This is how, this is how we cite an article. This is how we do this. This is how we do that. Okay. It was another level for me altogether. Okay. But trust me, it was worth it because as of now that I'm sitting here, I know how to do certain things. Okay. I can even teach people how to do this, how to do that, how to work on gis how to you get what i'm saying okay so it was worth it another issue i would like you to um i i would like to draw your attention is that please forget about me too i want to go to the university me too i want to go and read political science me too i want to go and do uh what uh, psychology at the university mm? When you finish, which work, which like area will you use this psychology or political science or whatever you have read? I know a lot of political science and psychology students who are who have finished uh, Legon, uh, K -K Cape, Cape Coast, and they are in the house. They are sitting there. They are not getting anything to do. They are not getting anything to do. Please, once again, once again, if you well if you have gone to the university already it's okay okay but look for an it course look for an it course to do 
a lot of IT courses, data analytics, data engineering, software uh, developer, software, yeah, the same as software engineering. They have a lot of business analysis, analysis, a lot, a lot of IT, even technical support, a lot of IT field. Mm? So something that nobody had told me, if I was coming, if I am coming now from Ghana to Germany, I won't even bother myself. Or if I am going to the university, I won't even bother myself to enter the university. I would take this four years that I'm going to waste at the university. I, in fact, depending on your course, hmm? depending on the course that you are doing, of course, if you are reading medicine, but even medicine, people have read medicine. They have been doctors. I know a colleague of mine who uh, did uh, seven years, seven years at uh, what, tech, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. I know another one who also did seven years at Legon. Okay, they came to Germany. One, one went to Belgium, one was in uh, Munster for this exchange program. They went back and graduated. And then they were working at, I think, Kolebu or 37. One has even relocated. They have left the job and they are in Bonn. They are in Bonn. One is in Bonn with her husband now, as I'm speaking. They have left it. Hmm? They have left it. So what I'm saying is that if you want to travel, not everybody wants to travel. If you want to sit there, fine. But if you want to travel, do something that will benefit you. <clears throat> do something that will benefit you. Don't waste your time four years at the university doing psychology and then coming to sit back home, not having a job to do. It's a waste of time. Even if you don't want to travel, this four years huh, that you go and waste at the university, go to... Go to uh, an IT school. There's these people, this NIIT people. I don't know if they still are, are, are exist in Ghana. Okay, they will teach you IT programs that even you would have a job with it, even this IT, you will have a job in these big big companies. Like let's name one time I was looking at job uh, um career uh, job openings on the on these people Nestle. Okay, their website. They were looking for SAP an 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 analysis or whatever SAP specialist, SAP specialist, ERP specialist. They were looking for a software developer. Even in Ghana, okay, you can have a job to do. Okay, so stop wasting your time. I am this one is is actually going to, um, like our colleagues, my the youth. Okay, the youth back in Ghana and wherever, in Nigeria, wherever, the youth, okay? If you really want to be meaningful with, of course, not everybody would like to, like, enter into IT, okay? But if you really want to, of, like, chop money, okay, and then be useful with, with yourself, be useful to yourself, okay? Stop. Stop this four years. Just... Me too, I want to go to the university. When I finish SS, I, 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 I couldn't enter the university. The money that your mother will go and do some small, small petty trade and, get, and uh, accumulate those money for you to go and waste this at the university. Let's uh, send you to an IT school. Huh? Buy a computer for you. Send you to an IT school. Work, do IT. Four years, you will be able to gain something. You are you will be in Africa. You apply for a job in Europe, ah? Huh? They will not. You will not even struggle to go and queue at the U.S. embassy just because you want visa, or you go and queue at the U.K. embassy because you want visa. There is the the what do you call it? The uh, the company itself will bring all the package. You will be at your house, and then they will be calling you. Come for visa. Okay, so be useful. Make yourself useful by studying something better. Mm? By studying something better. I, I did environmental science back in, uh, what do you call it, in the university. Okay, at the end of the day, after my national service, after I did and my national service related to environmental stuff, after my national service, I moved from the sector totally to went to a telecom. I worked at Vodafone. Huh? I went at Vodafone. After Vodafone, I went to a banking sector. 
which has nothing to do with environmental science. Nothing at all to do with environmental science. You get what I'm saying? And if I had known, if I had known that, okay, this is how it is, I wouldn't have bothered myself to even waste my time to go to the university for four years. I would have done this my IT. Mm -hmm. Four years. Okay? And then I would have continued, 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 and continued. By now, I would have been a genius in IT. Okay? So, this is my little advice for you. This is my little advice. Do something that will profit you. Do something. Right now, IT is raining. IT is raining everywhere. It is raining everywhere. So, my advice to you is that if you really want to be useful, to earn money, okay? You'll be in the house. You'll not go and queue for US visa. You'll not go and queue for US visa. The visa will come to your table like that. And then you'll travel, okay? So this is my small advice for you guys, please. Yeah. Thank you so much. If you were thrilled by my video, please subscribe to my channel and then give the video a thumbs up. Put the comments in the comment section, okay? And then, yeah, we talk about it. Thank you so much. Bye.